Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to take a look at the second example of how to calculate the pH, but in this case, you're not given the concentration of the hydrogen ion, you're given the concentration of the hydroxide ion. So how do you calculate the pH? Well, there's different ways of going about it, but first of all, I think what we could do is say if we're given the concentration of the hydroxide ion, I remember a relationship that the product of the concentration of the hydrogen ion times the concentration of the hydroxide ion always has to equal 1 times 10 to the minus 14 like so and that was the constant so therefore what we're going to do is we're going to solve for the concentration of the hydrogen ion by saying the concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by the concentration of the hydroxide ion all right, since that was given to us, we can say, therefore, that the concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 6.4 times 10 to the minus 4. All right, now we need a calculator. So 1 e to the 14 minus divided by 6.4 e to the 4 minus, and we get the concentration of the hydrogen ion to be 1.5625 times 10 to the minus 11. We don't need all those significant figures, but that's good enough. All right, so now we can go back to our equation that says that pH can be calculated by taking the negative of the log of the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Since we now know what that is, we simply plug that in. So therefore, pH is equal to minus the log of uh, 1.5625 2, 5 times 10 to the minus 11. So let's take the log of that. And so we have the pH is equal to minus times the minus of 10.8. And so therefore the pH of this solution is equal to 10.8. Since it's greater than 7, that makes that a basic solution. So that's concentration is basic. And let's see here, another way in which we could have done that, and you may like this way a little bit better, is instead we could have solved directly for the POH because the POH, just like for the pH, is equal to negative the log of the concentration of the hydroxide ion. So this is equal to minus the log of 6.4 times 10 to the minus 4. So let's try that. So 6.4 e to the 4 minus and take the log of that and so we get this is equal to minus minus 3.2 uh, like that. So this is equal to a positive 3.2. So the pOH is 3.2. So that's a measure of the concentration of the hydroxide ion. And then we remember that the pOH plus the pH is equal to 14, which means that the pH is equal to 14 minus the pOH. I'm running a little bit out of my bounds there, but that's fine. And since the pH was the pOH was calculated to be 3.2, so 14 minus 3.2 is equal to 10.8, and we get the exact same result as we did before. So there's actually two different ways in which you can accomplish the same thing. You can either first calculate the concentration of the hydroxide ion by using this relationship and then plugging that into the pH equation to get the pH, or you can realize that, hey, I can use this relationship right here by taking, by first calculating the pOH, subtracting that from 14 to get the pH, and then I found the pH directly like that. It's probably a little bit easier doing it the second way.